Does your Phantom 4 Pro not display any video at all? And does it give you a camera sensor error? Chances are you need to replace the ribbon cable for the camera. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. He's gonna help too. My name is Rick Burrows, you're watching Drone Maverick, so let's get right into it. Okay, before we get started, let's go ahead and remove the battery. Flip this over, I want an SD card here, we'll take that out. Next, take your 8mm Allen key, and then you have to unscrew all the screws that are holding this little assembly together. There's two in the front, two in the back, and then two on each side. Third, fourth one. Rotate this around, get the other two. Next, take a small flathead screwdriver and then begin to gently pry off. From here, you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to be removing this screw and this is kind of hard to see, but there's another screw right over here. These are extremely small, so you gotta, you gotta keep a close eye on them. The planet Gerber comes in real handy. See just how tiny these screws are. Next, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to pry off that ribbon cable. This is all that we're going to be working with, so let's go ahead and move the phantom out of the way. Okay, so we have to get to this ribbon cable right here. This is what we're going to be replacing. So we have to remove all four of these screws. They are really small, so you do want to be careful. You want to gently pop out that circuit board. From here you have these two little flippers where you flip them up. And then the ribbon cable will be able to slide out. Go ahead and remove this tape right here. So there's a couple more screws that we have to remove right here. Go ahead and remove this yellow tape. This is a little sticky. But what you want to do is you want to peel it up and pull that out. Next, remove these four screws. Now you can go ahead and remove the ribbon cable. Now that we've got the camera disassembled from the Phantom, what you need to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver want to remove there are two screws right here Be careful with them screws next take your eight millimeter allen key remove these four screws and remove that cover inside here you're gonna see another you follow the ribbon cable right up to this little port, you're going to need to lift this up and then slide it out. So now it's nice and free. Next, take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two screws. Very tiny. Take the cover off and you want to remove these two screws on the side. Now this slides out. These are gang in there. So I just tap the side. There you go. We got them. For this next part, you're going to need a star bit, and it's a T7H. I don't have a screwdriver where you can kind of slip this in and then just unscrew it a little bit faster. Doing this by hand, it will work just fine. Next, take that little cover off. So there's another little ribbon cable right here. We need to pop that off. Now we can swing this little circuit board out of the way. There's this little piece that we have right here. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Next we have this little uh, piece of uh, paper, a little sticky tape. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then here's the other end of the ribbon cable. We need to pry it up. Now that we have everything out of the way, let's go ahead and move the ribbon cable. Get over. And it's basically being held together by adhesive. I'm gonna go like this. Because we're removing the ribbon cable, you don't have to be gentle. 
it looks like this is wrapped around once, maybe twice around the camera. Yeah, it's wrapped around about one time. There we go, we have the cable now fully removed. And we're going to start exactly where we finished with this end of the cable. Now the back of the ribbon cable, it's really tough to see, but if there is a, a little adhesive tab where you have to remove it. You want to gently pull that off. Oh, there we go. There we go. You'll feel it click into place. Next, you want to gently put that ribbon cable until the adhesive makes contact. So we have to wrap this around one time. Until it comes all the way around and then the shape matches where it needs to go. There's more adhesive tape right here and then when you remove it you'll be able to press it up against there. You definitely want that ribbon cable nice and flush. Before we go any further let's go ahead and put this circuit board back into place. And we have to reattach just simply find the little grooves. There we go. Put that black little piece of tape back on there. Take the cover match the groove with this little slot right there. Put that back on. So you also want to shove this little plastic piece that had a look like a jumper. You want to shove that back into that hole. This part is actually really important because you want to make sure that there's smooth uninterrupted movement. Phillips head screw. And the little cover. Ow. Two little screw. Screw you, screw. Next, you want to gently feed it in just like that. Again, ribbon cable or communication cable, so you need to be very, very careful. So now you can see how you have this little open square right here, and the shape matches perfectly right here. I'm going to remove this uh, little blue adhesive tape thingy. And you want to match the shape to the groove. And so to help out with this situation, you may need to take this ribbon cable out temporarily and manipulate this a little bit easier actually and it helps out tremendously. Okay, now we got that all the way in there. Now I'm gonna press down next. We'll go ahead and go ahead and put that cable back in there. Oh yeah. Go ahead and put the cover back on. Next, what you need to do is remove all the blue adhesive covers, and then you want to gently, very gently, swing this to the opposite side. And you want to gently press down so that the adhesive grabs this spot. Next, you want to take this, slide it back in place, and you want to line up those screw holes. Screwing goes <laughs> back into place. The second one. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're going to move the ribbon cable last connection in place. Like so, and then we're gonna use a, a flathead screwdriver and press down so that they're nice. Yeah. Now we're going to put that metal piece that was holding the ribbon cable down. These screws are so small. He is inspecting, making sure everything is to code. No, 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 don't sit on it. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Next, let's go ahead and take this circuit board and we're going to reconnect it back in place. Okay. 
nice little snap back in the spot. And we will screw it. Screw it in place. Then we have this little plastic piece where it just catches the light from the LED and it flashes outside. Now we need to reconnect the ribbon cable back to the drone. And we do that by simply pressing down and then making the connection just like that. Next we're going to take a little strap and we're going to put it place to these tiny screws and then put that right back in its place. Oh, that one. The last tiny screw, it's hard to see, but it goes right back there. Come on. Okay, we got that one in. Now we can slide the whole assembly right back in its place. And now we'll go ahead and we'll put the screws back in. Okay guys, we got our battery plugged back in. Moment of truth, here we go. There we have it. Awesome. Now we've got our we've got our camera. We've got visuals right here. Perfect. That is how you solve a bad camera problem, a bad camera sensor issue. It was just the ribbon cable that needed to be replaced. In order to get your replacement for your camera, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and buy it. Again, you only want to get the ribbon cable that's specifically manufactured for the Phantom 4 Pro by DJI. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to get that cable. Alright guys, with that being said, thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below if you found that this video was helpful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.